So you have the Bamboo P1P, an amazing machine, but it's feeling a little bit naked. You don't have a way of printing ABS, nylon, high shrink, high temp materials, and you know you need an enclosure. So what are your best options? Introducing the hot box for the Bamboo P1P. This is the first time that Wham Bam ever made a hot box for a specific machine, and we're really proud to show you all of its advantages. So why do you need a hot box? The first main reason is to have a controlled internal temperature. And this is really important if you're trying to print ABS, nylon, polycarbonate, polypropylene, some of the hard to print filaments. The basic science behind it is as filaments melt and get deposited down, they're expanding. And as they start to cool and harden, they're shrinking. So without an enclosure, you're gonna notice prints that lift off the bed and curl and warp, creating failures or non-dimensionally accurate prints. You'll even notice separation between layer lines, creating non-structurally integral parts. So by having a hot box, you're creating a nice warm controlled temperature inside. You wanna control the temperature between 40 and 60 degrees C, depending on the filaments you're printing. And that's gonna allow your print to cool very slowly, maintaining its dimensional accuracy of when it printed, even as it's cooling solidifying. The second reason why you're gonna love this hot box is because it's gonna contain the fumes that are created while printing. Some of those fumes smell very bad and some of them have very harmful VOCs in them. For example, ABS really emits some dangerous chemicals that you don't want to be printing around your home, your family, your coworkers, and your workplace. So with our built-in vent port that we have on the hot box, you can add a vent fan and pipe that, those harmful fumes out the window or through a filter box. We'll show you more about this a little later in the video, so stay tuned for that. And the third reason for the hot box is because it reduces the noise created by the printer. We've actually measured our hot box in comparison to other situations, and the decibels created are far lower with our hot box than they are with the bare P1P, with the X1 in its metal enclosure, and then the P1P in its plastic enclosure. As you'll notice, a very, very large front door. You could see the print fully while it's printing, and you could easily open it. It's held by magnets, and on the other end, it stays put by a piece of Velcro, and you have full access. When this is open, you don't have a glass door to hit into or break by accident. You have full access whenever you need it, which is really wonderful. We have our control panel on the outside, but we have easy access to the SD card through this opening right here at the top. See that? Yep. I'm going to walk around the machine and let you see some of the other features. Let me actually spin this around here. So another feature, we have a thermometer that tells you the internal temperature. Um, you could see that even when the door is open, it does not block that. We have the Velcro patch to hold the door in place. Let me move this around here. We have a rear opening port for your poop chute. I'll show you an accessory that we have also for that in a second. You have your external spool holder, should you care to use it. You have a, an opening for the plug and the power switch. And you even have an extra port, should you decide to install a CPU fan, an extra CPU fan. A lot of users want to upgrade to an extra CPU fan. You can put it there and just remove this patch. If not, you leave it on. Uh, here is your Bowden tube input, and there's a simple download. We'll give you the link in order to have that go from the backside like the X1C rather than the top as the P1P comes. And then one of our funnest sides is our wonderful right side of the machine where you'll find a whole bunch of great tool holders. So you have easy access to your favorite tools. And right down here, we have our vent port. So if you're ever going to use this with a venting system, you just open it up and attach your vent port here, pipe it out a window or through a filter box to filter those fumes. Let me show you one This of our is our vent fume exhaust system that Oscar has designed. Wonderful system. You just 
print this out. The parts list is in the Colts file. You attach it through here and you secure it with the backing nut and attach that to a DC power supply and that will suck the air out a normal vacuum tube hose out the window or like we said into a filter box. It's that easy. You could just leave it on there all the time if you care to use one. Uh, should you ever decide to use the AMS feed unit, the small one or the large one, uh, the part that attaches to the panel is in here and we have designed one. There we go. We have designed a mount so you could easily have it here so you could feed your AMS unit into here and run the machine with it. We've also designed a very handy poop shoot bucket. Fits right over the hotbox lip, collects the, the discarded poops, and it has a lot of room so it's not going to fill up too easily. Another great feature is the ability to add extra security by adding a cloud. There's already a Velcro patch inside in just the right spot that the machine will fully operate and would never hit it. So that'll give you the peace of mind should there ever be a fire, you're not going to burn down your home, your workplace. Some other really amazing things to look at is the top is actually structural. So if you wanted to rest spool holders on the top, just go right ahead. You could run your spool holders right in the back. You could hold four or five spool holders on the top. So of course, it also holds the AMS and mounts the AMS easily and natively. This hotbox could not be better because number one, like we said, we have a giant easy access front door that stays open. But should you ever need to get to the internal components of your machine, there's no reason to take apart a 3D printed or a plastic uh, enclosure. You just have to unzip one of the side panels, either or, and you have full access to your machine. The same goes for the right side. We have full access to the machine at any point. So when you're doing maintenance, you don't have to disassemble the whole hotbox. You open it up, you could lube your access belts, you could do anything you need to do. You can get to the hot end very easily. And this, this hot box allows you to do it. Speaking of which, let's talk about the composition of the material. The hot box is made of a very thick insulating sandwich. It's actually got true metallic lining on the inside. This re refracts the heat back inside. Between both layers, inside and out, is a honeycomb panel that will keep the thermal insulation similar to an igloo cooler. And on the outside is a ballistic, really tough nylon, 600D. And by having all of that, we're able to create a very well insulated enclosure around your machine that is also self-standing and easy to open, remove, mount. Please let us know what else you'd like to see in order to help increase the hotbox line, accessory or otherwise. Let us know in your comments what you think about it and what else you'd do with it. Thank you.